In today's message, I want to stress to you the importance of not trying to save these hoes and these lawless men. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another righteous, spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, you have ministries. You know, and when I say ministries coming from the word minister, the word minister meaning servant, you have people out there uh, trying to teach salvation or teach what they call salvation to people who truly do not want it. You got ministries out there that uh, are full of men and women who want to remain lawless. See, lawless men and harlots, they wanna go to the ministry that tells them that they can uh, be saved or have salvation while continuing to live lawless. You can live lawless and still have God's favor. That's what they like. This is why lawless people like lukewarm, you know, ear tickling messages. This is the reason why they don't like truth. It's why truth offends them. And I'll tell you, for those that have salvation and have come out from among them and have the willingness to change, you'll realize, you know, the renewal of your mind. You know, you're, you will go through a transformation righteously. You have some of these lawless men and harlots that they want all the blessings while continuing to live lawless. The word says, faith without works is dead. And it says, I'll show you my faith by my works. I'll show you my faith by my walk. See, lawless men, lawless heathens, hoes and harlots, they don't have the willingness to change. You cannot offer salvation, biblical, righteous salvation to somebody that doesn't want it. See, this is why these people get sucked in uh, to all of these different schemes and scams because there is no willingness to change. Man, they want to they wanna continue on in fornication, uh, uh, adultery, all of this nonsense, eating food, sacrificed to idols, you know, transgressing the laws of the Most High Yah. You show them a precept or a statue, they don't have one willingness bone, one willing bone in their doggone body to doggone actually obey the word, obey the commandment. I'm telling you, this is why a lot of these lawless, uh, effeminate, and, and hoes and harlots get offended when they come to this channel. Because I'm not, if you don't have the willingness to uh, accept truth, the entire truth, and he says, man, I come in the volume of the book and the whole book is written of me. Man, I'm not trying to save your whole ass. Yo, 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 doggone uh, heathen lawless behind. There is no salvation for you. That's the reason why you go to these people uh, to get your ears tickled and hear these lukewarm messages. This is why you're constantly having to lie to yourself telling you that you are favored when you're only uh, experiencing mercy and you're still choosing to walk ignorant. You got people out there that are willfully ignorant. Willfully. They choose to be ignorant. You know, uh, when I talk about girlfriend and boyfriend culture that we see in Western culture is not righteous, that always offends. That always offends those that want to call themselves justified 
uh, and doing all this doggone fornication. And this is why they can't receive the truth. You love, you know, the lust of your flesh more than you do the will of Yah. That's why I told you, man, my job is not to save uh, hoes and hoes and harlots and lawless men. Now, the hoes, the harlots, the lawless men, the heathens that do believe and have the willingness to change and that faith can be shown through your works. Hey, I got truth all day for you. I got love all day for you. But for the rest of these jokers, in your stance, in your works, you show your hatred towards Yah. And that's why I said, man, there ain't no, you know, when you think about Rahab the harlot, there came a point where she had to make a choice. Am I going to continue to rebel against Yah? Or am I going to obey Yah and his servants? And she chose to obey and it was counted as righteous. You got to think that was rare. A lot of these hoes, harlots, heathens, and lawless men, they're not going to make that same choice that she made. And they will continue on in lawlessness while lying to themselves, playing in all this religion while never being righteous. My job is not to save harlots, hoes, 304, side pieces, side dudes, heathens, lawless Gentile. That ain't, that ain't it. You have to have the willingness in your heart to want to change and this might be the only time you have witnessed somebody loving you with truth. And it hurts. I know it does. I've experienced it before, but I had the willingness to change. See, for people that have doubled down in their ways, you know, uh, that soft message is not what they need. It's not what they need because there is a, 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 a true stronghold of rebellion on their life and they actually like it they enjoy it but something in the back of their mind is telling them man I need salvation man I want to be saved your lips might be saying this but your walk may not oftentimes I know my message will offend uh, these women who want to play the victim like they've always been cheated on but you don't have no problem uh you know, messing up a man's home. You don't have no problem being a bull dagger. You don't have no problem uh, supporting abominations. These doggone heathen men, you don't have no problem busting women's cheeks down and not fulfilling the duty. You don't have no problem laying down with married women. I'm telling you, you come over here to closer to y'all ministries, Hey, I, I only thing I'm gonna do is kick it gun barrel straight. There ain't no sweet and low, ain't no splendor, ain't no trivia on none of these messages. I'm coming straight up the middle. Pow! Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing gun barrel straight. Pow.